Good day, world, and welcome to another installment of Striving Young Professionals. This particular day episode is a very special one because you all believed in me, and I thank you so much. I have finally reached 100 likes on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, family. Thank you so much, friends. Uh, we'll get further into the shout outs at the end of the video. I want to delve into today's quote. I'm very excited about today's quote as I'm very excited every day about every day's quote uh, because I believe it will motivate you and inspire you to be a better you every day. And the more and more you're being a better you, the more and more you're being a better you for someone else. So that is what it's all about, helping out your brothers and sisters. So thank you so much for helping me get to 100 likes. Uh, it doesn't stop there, folks. I want to get to 200 now. So let's see. Let's see if we can get to 200. But before we get to 200, let's try maybe about 120, 150. So let's see if we can work that out. Help me out, friends and family. Help me out, world. Spread the news and make sure you let everyone know about what's going on with Striving Young Professionals. So, all right. Today's quote. Very simple, very powerful. Been trying to keep it simple lately, trying to keep it uh, full of uh, insight, full of power, though. Um, and I like this one because it is that it's that simple. Uh, it may be a little easier said than done, but simple. And today's quote is by Paul Harvey. And the quote is, like what you do. If you don't like it, do something else. Again, <laughs> that simple. Hey, like what you do. If you don't like it, then just simply do something else. And that's by Paul Harvey. I love it. I mean, I know it may seem elementary. I know that may seem small to you, but you uh, will be uh, surprised by how many people believe that they are truly trapped in whatever it is that they're doing. There are people who truly believe that they have no other option but the option that they're in. You have people that truly believe that this is the end all be all to the way that their life is going to be set up. And I am here to encourage you today that if you're desiring change, if you want something different and you don't like what you're doing, Truly, honestly, just do something else. I mean, really, come to terms with yourself, uh, devise a plan, lay out a pathway on, on what it is you want to accomplish and how you want to go about it, and then be about that effective change. I'm telling you, change does not happen unless you first make the decision to change, unless you first put in the atmosphere to make something happen for your life. It is just that simple. If you want to do something else for your life uh, spiritually, then do it. If you don't like what place you're in spiritually, do something else. You really cannot do the same things and expect different results to happen. If you want something differently, you have to do something differently. So you have to do something else. That's all. Just make the decision to say, you know what? I'm going to do something else. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be in the position that I'm in. I don't want to struggle the way that I struggle. I don't want to have despair the way that I have despair. I don't want to have frustration the way that I have frustration. So I'm going to do something else. It's just that simple, but it's just that difficult for people to come to terms within themselves that they actually have the power and the ability to do something else. I was listening to this speaker uh, not too long ago, maybe over the weekend, and he was talking about that man has really stopped thinking. Like they have really just gotten to a point that they have stopped thinking. And as a result now, we've uh, developed ourselves to become a part of a system and don't really know why we do it or what we do it. And we're just simply doing it because the person before us did it and the people around us do it. So we think that that's just the way that we're supposed to do it. And we forgot how to be thinkers. We forgot how to be innovators collectively. So for whatever reason now, we live a life thinking that the way we do things is the, is the only way that we have to do it. And that's just what it is. That's the status quo. And I'm here to tell you that that is so not the truth. The fact of the matter is, if you want to do something else, do it. If you don't like what you're doing, do something else. It is that simple. I'm tired of someone telling me what to do with my time. I'm tired of asking for permission to go see my family. I am tired of asking for permission to go do things for myself that I deem important for myself. I am tired of asking for permission to go see a doctor. Like, it's ridiculous. But for whatever reason, I have been programmed to think that this is the way of life. And I don't believe it and I don't accept it. And because I don't like it, I'm going to do something else. Because that... I came to terms with myself and I realized that that's what has to happen. I just simply have to do something else. And I have to come to come to grips 
and come to terms with myself that I can do something else. So I, 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 I'm I trying to say it over and over and over again. Do something else. If you don't like, like what you do, but if you don't like what you're doing, then do something else. So I encourage you today, world, be that change in your life. Be that change in your mind. See how everything else changes around you and the friends and the loved ones change around you as well because they are, us they are uh, usually a part of the same system. And when you switch your system, everything else changes around you as well. So be encouraged today. Don't just let this uh, video motivate you, but be the motivating factor after you cut this video off. I thank you so much for spending this time with me, world. I thank you so much for helping me get to 100 likes. I knew I was going to get there. I believed that I was going to get there, and it happened. So thank you so much. Special shout-outs to my man Terrence Walter. Thank you so much for showing me some support. Uh, Lindsay, also, thank you for the insight. Thank you for what you share in regards to the last video. Thank you so much. It's Mary. I am so proud of you. Uh, I am looking forward to major things. Looking forward to talking to you this week and seeing what's new and exciting in It's Mary's life. Check her out because she's doing major things. Neely Bryson, man, very motivated young brother. Welcome to the team, man. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. And I do appreciate the support and make sure you spread the word. Uh, Maria, thank you so much uh, for stopping by, uh, showing some support from LinkedIn. Thank you uh, for showing that support. Also, uh, Carzette Parker, thank you for showing me some support, stopping by, liking my page, things of that nature. Emily, all the way up in South Carolina, thank you for the support. And make sure you share it with everyone up in South Carolina. Uh, I'm sure they can appreciate some motivation as well. My man Seth Elby, very talented brother, very, very, very talented. You should hear his voice. He has an amazing voice. Check him out. Thank you, bro, for the support. I do appreciate it. Joanne, a business associate of mine, thank you so much. Uh, for your support as well, check her out. She's doing major things. Gemma and Lor uh, Lorena as well, business associates. Thank you for the support. Thank you for spreading the word. And thank you for believing in me. Uh, if you want to check me out, you can find me on strivingyoungprofessionals.com, www.strivingyoungprofessionals.com. And you can subscribe to my newsletter on there. Also, as you know, as always, you can find me on my uh, fan page. Striving Young Professionals is a fan page. And make sure you stop by and you like it. I will appreciate that very much. Thank you. Also, you can find me on Twitter. Uh, follow me. I'll follow you back. SY Professionals is my Twitter page. I also give shout outs and you can check out my quotes on there as well. And you can find me on my YouTube TV channel. Uh, you can either subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can like my channel or comment on my channel. I would prefer that you do all three, but either uh, one of the three would be fine as well. So I do thank you. Again, remember the quote by Paul Harvey, like what you do first. Understand, like it, and enjoy what you do because you'll be successful if you do that. Uh, if you have a talent and you like what you do, you will be successful in that endeavor. Also, if you don't like it, then just simply do something else. So I encourage you to have an awesome day-to-day -day world. And until the next time, I will see you at the top of your passions. Thank you.